In this Accessible.org services video, we're going to go over the different digital accessibility services offered by Accessible.org. If you would like to learn more to learn more about the pricing for these services, you can visit Accessible.org slash pricing. But for now, let's get into the services starting with our most requested service, audits. An audit is a formal manual evaluation of your website or di other digital asset where we are going to find all accessibility issues within the scope of the audit and report on those issues. Now we use WCAG 2.1 AA as our default technical standard. Uh, however, we can adjust this to 2.0 AA or 2.2 AA depending on your preference. Now going over our evaluation process, it's going to include screen reader and keyboard testing. There's going to be a visual inspection of your website along with the code inspection of your website. And we are going to test using different environments that include uh, Chrome and Safari browsers, mobile and desktop devices, and we will use NVDA and voiceover screen readers during the evaluation. Now, we also incorporate the use of scans, and this is not because we rely upon the scan results, but we want to make sure that any accessibility issues that are able to be detected by a scan are included in our audit results. And then finally, we have the deliverables, so you're going to get the technical audit report. This is going to be meticulous, thorough, detailed, and very easy to understand. It is written clearly so that clients can take action upon the audit and you will also get an executive summary report. Now, moving on to remediation, this is where we fix all of the technical code issues that are causing accessibility issues on your website. So we can offer remediation for any platform that allows full code access. So some examples of platforms that allow full code access are Shopify, WordPress, and Wix. So importantly, this is going to be where all of the advanced accessibility issues are taken care of. Now you must purchase our audit to receive our, our remediation. And this is because we need to ensure that we are indeed remediating all of the accessibility issues and we can't rely upon another provider's audit to do that. Um, we, we, the remediation is going to be conducted by technical accessibility experts with expertise in web development. Obviously, these are going to be accessibility professionals. Um, the content remediation is separate, but at your option, we can also take care of content remediation. Um, and then if we don't have access to the code, so if there are third party integrations that are used, uh, we're likely not going to be able to make those fixes because we just won't have access to the code. Now, if there is access to the code, then it will be possible for us to remediate third party integrations but we're going to evaluate that on a case by case basis. And you will know ahead of time um, what, what any limitations we have are. We also offer ACR services. So with our ACR creation services, we will be filling in a VPAT based, based on an audit that we have conducted on your digital assets. So really when it comes to VPATs, these are four products. The VPAT is the actual template. So VPAT stands for Voluntary Product Accessibility Template. We're going to fill in this template to create an ACR, which is an Accessibility Conformance Report. And this report is really an accounting of your product's accessibility. So here I have here, audit is necessary. Um, and again, this is an accounting. It doesn't mean that your product is actually accessible or free of accessibility issues. It just means this is the actual state of accessibility uh, graded against a specific technical accessibility standard. Moving on to user testing. User testing is where we have a professional who is blind or visually impaired and they are using screen reader assistive technology to go through your website and they are going to relay their practical experience in using your website. So multiple pages of your website will be tested and then what we will have at the end of the session is a recording of the session. You will have this for your records and we always recommend that user testing takes place after remediation. So after an audit, after remediation because during the user testing session, Ideally, we won't come across any accessibility issues, but of course, if there are any accessibility issues, this is a great way to find those remaining outstanding issues 
and then resolve those issues. So with one page, with one session, this is going to be comprised of up to 10 pages or screens, and it's capped at a 35, a 50 minute total uh, duration. And then of course, as I mentioned, we also provide the user testing session as a deliverable. Um, with documents, we can remediate all types of different documents. The most requested uh, document type is PDFs, but we can remediate Microsoft Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, Microsoft PowerPoint documents. And this isn't limited to just Microsoft documents. We can also uh, remediate other types of documents such as Canva generated documents, et cetera. Um, alternatively, or um, in addition, we can also offer a template creation service. So rather than just remediating your documents, we can provide you accessible templates to work from and create documents from. When it comes to social media, we can really approach this in multiple ways. So one way to think about this could be um, having us integrate with your social media team, where your team passes uh, content along to us. We remediate that content and then pass it back to your social media team. Um, either way, we are going to ensure conformance with the highest uh, accessibility standards so we can make sure that all content is WCAG 2.2 AA conformant. Um, and so our social media content services are really going to ensure that all of your, all of your social media is accessible at when you publish it. We can also help with project planning. So this is extremely helpful when you've got a large accessibility project and uh, for the most part, you are unfamiliar with accessibility or you just have light experience. In this case, we can as assist in planning and organizing your project. Um, and really with, mo with most projects, they are centered around an end objective that is uh, that involves compliance. And so we can help with that. We can help with the project plan, the project timeline, milestones, we can help organize and direct your efforts to make sure that once we finish with this plan, all you have to do is execute on it. And then we also offer consulting services. Consulting is usually purchased along with our audit service so that you know that you have experts that you can consult with anytime your team has questions. We offer technical consulting. We also offer consulting where I, I, you can talk with myself personally, and we will go over different questions you have. Um, one of the ways that my consulting is used is organizations will hire me to talk directly with their general counsel. So they will already have an attorney on staff, but they will need their attorney to really um, have that expertise to effectively deal with any compliance issue or any litigation uh, questions that they have. So there are many ways that you can that I can help you when consulting with you. Um, and so this is a way to get your, your questions answered specific to your custom situation. And I can help you navigate through the difficulties of digital accessibility and then also ensuring that what you're doing is efficient and effective and it will end up resulting in compliance. So again, we have myself and technical accessibility experts and we typically have consulting sessions over Zoom. Accessible.org also offers certification documentation. So our certification includes statement of conformance, statement of partial conformance, um, the accessible.org provider certification, user testing recorded session, and then user testing certification as well. And so all of these documents speak to your efforts, your investment in accessibility, and the current accessibility status of your different digital assets, whether it be a website or mobile app, et cetera, the status of your digital assets as of the date the certification was issued. Certification cannot be purchased. It is, it is a result of the services that you get through accessible.org. Um, and then we can also expedite our services. So if you need a quick turnaround, sometimes clients need a really fast audit or really quick remediation because they are working through a settlement or they are trying to um, preempt litigation. Either way, we can work with um, quick turnarounds. Um, this is just going to, this is going to depend on the request as to um, what we can do, but we can usually turn around accessibility services and uh, deliverables in a fairly quick session with some PDF projects. It can even happen overnight. So we do offer expedited services.
And then of course, we can also customize our services to fit your specific needs. Um, two good examples of this are with project planning and social media. Obviously for each project and each, each social media situation, it's really going to be custom to, um, we, we're going to need to customize our services to fit with exactly what you need. But the overall theme here is we're going to make sure that in the case of social media, of course, we're going to make sure that the content is accessible. And with project planning, the overall, the overall um, objective is to make sure that we meet your end objective. And these are the accessible.org services for in the description of this video of this video, I'm, in, I'm going to include a link to the direct services page on accessible.org. I will also include a link to the pricing page. And on the pricing page, you can get the different prices for these different accessibility services.